Welcome to part two of my gallery wall art chat. We're gonna pick up right where we left off and please be sure to stay until the end. I have a very special bit of information for you. This was something that I did for fun right here. Hot air balloon with a guy hanging from it. And that's not just any guy, that's Icarus. Henri Matisse, who's a prolific artist, did a painting called Jazz, and he put this little guy on it, and he said that was Icarus. Icarus, from Greek mythology, is a guy who built wax wings, and his dad told him, don't fly too high, or the wax would melt, but of course he did, and I don't know why, I took a liking to Icarus. So sometimes I stick Icarus into random paintings. You'll see some more, and you'll be able to identify him. <laughs> This is when I started working in abstract. Up to this point, everything that I painted was a person, a place, a thing. And so I'm like, let me do some abstract work. I painted the first layer just flat, and then I put dots on top of it. And then I put dots on top of the dots just to see what would happen. I have some more of those dot paintings. Hold on. There's one right here. Kind of creepy when you look at it up close, right? <laughs> and and sometimes I put dots on other things but we'll get to these later all right a few more paintings that I painted in class let's zoom out I painted her I just I wanted to paint a little black girl and you'll see that most of the paintings that I do of people are black. I have one that's white, and it was recommended by my, my teacher, and I painted it, and I like how she turned out. Here, I'll show you what she looks like. That's her. And again, that's a, this is a study of someone else's work. I did not make this up. I painted this zebra, my friend Vicky, she lived in Iowa City, asked me to paint a zebra, her favorite animal. And Vicki also loved Mickey Mouse. She collected Mickey Mouse memorabilia. I put half of um, Mickey Mouse's head on the zebra's face. Unfortunately, Vicki passed away from cancer before I could get the painting to her. But she did get to see a photo. And she said it meant a lot to her because it was a Mickey zebra. <laughs> God rest her soul. She was wonderful. Now, this one is a composite of two different photos. The American flag and combat boots. I did that in 2014. So I just superimposed the flag, you see the stripes running over the boot. You see the blue and the stars going on top of the boot. So I just superimposed one over the other. This, this is a straight up copy of someone else's painting. I just wanted to see if I could do it. <laughs> 2012, okay, this one was 2014. This right here, I was in voiceover class uh, and I would go there every week and there was this sad little plant <laughs> in a pot just like this and there was also a gnome just sitting somewhere nearby and I just got the idea to turn it into something whimsical. I made it like the little gnome is there with his textured beard <laughs> looking at those scissors <laughs> like what you gonna do with those scissors and I did this and 2016. Then there's this one and it's got a glare on it because I used a, a glossy top coat which I don't love for this reason. You can't get a true sense of it from photo because it's so shiny. Okay there we go. I want you to tell me before we go any farther I've hidden something in this painting and I'm gonna give you a few seconds to tell me what you notice. Don't cheat! <laughs> don't cheat! Tell me what you notice. Five, four, 
three, two, one. All right. The hair is Africa. It's the continent of Africa. And the little comb, the sparkly part of the comb, is Madagascar. It's the island that's off the coast of the continent. I like to hide little things every now and then. Oh, here's one. These donuts right here. Hold on, how do I show this to you? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, oh, there we go. These donuts right here. These were from a photo in a magazine. And this might have been the second painting I did in class, now that I think about it. Let me see, when did I do this? Yep, yep. 2011, yeah. So this was my second painting in class. And I had a lot of fun with it. And so the lesson here, I had fun with the, with the glaze and everything, but the, this was supposed to be fabric. And fabric is really tricky to do. So to me, it doesn't look like fabric, but that was what I was able to do at that time. I should do some more fabric and see see if I can do a better job this time. I started painting like these little bitty paintings because, because I could get through, get done with them quickly. They didn't take up a whole lot of space. As you can see, I only have so much wall space. So I'm like, maybe I need to start painting small. <laughs> so this painting is two inches by two inches. Hold on. Yeah, two inches by two inches. And when I paint on these small canvases, here, I'm gonna show you another one. This is a little larger. I think this is three by three. Oh, I glazed it again. Ugh. Hold on. Oh, there it is, it's a shot glass. When I paint these little paintings, I have to breathe in between brush strokes because if I don't, if I try to breathe and paint at the same time, all it takes is the slightest movement and then you got paint somewhere you don't want it to be or you got uh, the wrong color paint on top of a different color paint. So, <laughs> so I have to hold my breath, paint, breathe, paint, breathe. <laughs> It's a weird way to work, but I do like working on these, these little paintings. Here's another one. I found a photo on, again, on Instagram. Let's make that clearer here. Hold on. Let's get clear, boo. Yep, there we go. And decided to, to paint her. And then, so that one is, uh, I think that's three by three as well. And then the one next to it is two by two. And I'm gonna show you both of them side by side so you can get an idea of the scale. And then that's my hand. <laughs> that's, that's my hand. <laughs> so, so you can see how much bigger my hand is than either of these. All right, here's, this was me over here experimenting again with different types of paints. So I did circles, I did glow in the dark paint. Same with this one. The white parts of this glow. Oh, and there's Icarus again. <laughs> Wait, I got another Icarus. Oh yeah, here's the other Icarus. This one. For some reason, this painting minus Icarus came to me in a dream. Like I woke up and I was like, I don't know what that was, like that mountain thing. I don't really know, but I'm going to paint it. So I painted it and then I decided to stick Icarus there off to the side. Here's one that I really like. I painted this with acrylics. And I did the water, I mean, I did the background first. I did the water, then I did the mountains and the clouds and the birds. And I felt like it needed something. And I'm like, how about a little shimmery sunlight? How about that? You know, so it's, uh, it's it, this is not abstract, but this part is because 
sunlight doesn't really look like that. But I just wanted to uh, give it some sun and heighten it a little bit. You know, you know how artists do. <laughs> you saw me paint this one because I painted it. I painted it on camera right here. Okay, what else we got? This lady right here, I named this painting The Fight Continues. I really like painting uh, people, I'll, I'll say women, because I, I really only paint women. I have trouble with men. I don't understand, uh, I, I, I don't know why, but when I paint men, their faces end up with rounded features, they kind of look like women. So, so I don't know what that's all about, uh, but I got to get it together. But this, when I paint women, I, sometimes I like to paint them from the side and put words in their mouths. And it looks like she's saying just F-I-G-H, but if you look over here on the side, there's the T, because I named it The Fight Continues, okay? And when was this? Uh, 2020. All right, what else we got in here? We have, we have this one. Okay, this one was inspired by a photo from the Africa Yoga Project, all right? This pose in yoga is called Scorpion Pose. And I named this painting Nge, because it means scorpion in Swahili. I sent a photo of it to the photographer, the photographer who inspired me, and she wrote me back a really nice note. And uh, yeah, that's that. But that's a big one. That's the biggest painting that I have in here. This one, and then this, this big square one. I think the square one is 30 by 30. I don't even remember how, how, how tall this one is. It's pretty tall though. All right. And I know you remember this because I also painted it right here on this channel. My mom and I had a collab and this was my, my contribution to that. Next up, I started working with oil pastels. They're like greasy crayons, basically. And uh, yeah, so this was the, the, I think this was the first one that I did. And I, I really liked it, so I, I started doing some more. I did this one. Hold on, let me get out of your way. Zoom a little bit. Playing with different colors, shapes, texture. Still oil pastel. Same over here. I, I don't think this is oil, pa no, this isn't oil pastel. I believe I did that with paint pens. I think. <laughs> I did this one earlier this year. Yeah, there it is. NJB 22, and that's me playing with color, dots, texture, because look, you see how textured the center of that is? I believe this is oil pastel as well, I think. It's either that or it's my chalk markers. I don't remember. But the name of this one is Manifesting. She's supposed to be like um, meditating, but she either looks asleep. And when I first did it, I was like, oh, no, I hope she doesn't look dead. She's not dead. She looks kind of like it just because her eyes are closed, but she's not. And I did this either last year or the year before. I think it was the year before. And... Here's one of my favorites. It's, here, let me get closer to it. It's simple in a lot of ways, but there's some interesting, uh, I think interesting, complex things going on. So I painted 
I did the background first and then I painted the woman and uh, then I, and I made her lips look like a heart and then I put a stencil. You see all these dots? Me and my dots. <laughs> I put a stencil over it and painted different colors over a dark background just for emphasis. And I put this on last fly and I wanted it to look sort of like graffiti. So I didn't, I didn't cover the canvas all the way with this orange. I did some little highlights on the, the wording. I really like her though. So she's the one that inspired that fight painting. Okay, and sometimes I start experimenting with things and they either don't work out or I put them down and I don't get back to them. I started working on these years and years and years ago and uh, they're not finished. These are uh, chalk and this guy, he actually looks pretty good. You know what? He actually looks like one of my uncles, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just realizing that, but uh, I don't know who that looks like. But I was like, it might be cool to have, you know, I should go back and work on these. All right, I was gonna show you this guy as an example of how my male faces don't look right, but I actually like this. Interesting. But here, here's another guy that I never finished because I didn't like, I had painted forever on it and I didn't like how it was looking. Whenever my niece would FaceTime me and see that in the background, she would tell me how scary it was. I nicknamed him Hoodie Obama. Because he started looking like, looking like Obama with a hoodie on. But maybe, maybe, just maybe, maybe I have enough skill to uh, work on it now and make him look like, like something. Make him look like somebody. I think you've seen everything on the wall. I have some other stuff in the corner. I don't want to pull all that stuff out. But now you get an idea of what my journey has been as a painter and... Um, you know, when you see stuff around here, you know what's going on with it. Thank you so much to Mark Guy for suggesting that I do this. I know you suggested it a while back and you probably thought I forgot, but I didn't forget. I have to write everything down so I don't forget. And I was always going to get to it, but I wasn't able to get to it until now. For my other viewers, I want to let you know that Mark reached out to me a few days ago and asked me to pray for his nephew. His nephew is in the hospital. He'll be there for the next couple months and uh, he's receiving chemotherapy. He's got sickle cell disease and Mark's sister, which is, which is the child's mother, has a fundraiser page up to pay for, you know, being in the hospital is expensive. So she has a fundraiser up. I asked him if it would be okay for me to mention this on my channel. He said yes. So I'm letting you know about it. Please pray. I'll include a link to the Facebook page and the fundraiser so you can see what's going on. You can see what's needed and you can help as you feel led to help. It's a little boy and we want him to have a long, healthy, fruitful life. So help how you can. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. Oh, you know what? I forgot to show you one more thing. It's not done yet. I have to come back to it a lot of time and, and it's acrylic, it's acrylic. So it dries, you know, dried really fast, even though it's got, it's got some texture to it. Like the paint is kind of thick in places. I don't have to worry about it. If it were oil, it wouldn't be dry yet. I wouldn't be able to, to do this on it yet. This is an abstract and I'm just painting as I feel led to paint and we'll see how it turns out. People have been asking me, you know, where can I buy your art? Or do you ever make cards or, or any of that? I did some time ago and then I stopped just because, you know, I had my acting career and it was just too much to manage all at once. But I'm going to start up again. Let me know if, if you're at all interested. Uh, not necessarily, maybe in buying a painting, in buying a copy, in buying cards, greeting cards for people. If any of that interests you, let me know in the comment section. 
because I think I am going to make make some of my artwork available again. Some originals I would be willing to sell and some I will never sell. <laughs> but I will sell really good copies. That's that. Any information that you need regarding the fundraiser for Mark Guy's nephew, and Mark Guy is a longtime viewer of mine, and we want his nephew to be okay. We want his nephew to be more than okay. We want him to, to, to thrive. That's what we want. So uh, all of that will be in the description box, and I'll see you again soon. Okay? Bye. Bye, queen. <laughs>